teenage gangs, both male and female, are on the rise in New Zealand. But experts say that with this country's long history of adult gangs, it's no great surprise we now have teenage gang members. If you're born into a gang family, the gang world becomes part of your everyday life. That's been the case for mongrel mob daughters Alexia and Selena. This is their story. Selena and Alexia are twin sisters. Their father was a lifetime member of the mongrel mob in Porirua, and the girls were born into the gang. But their story has an interesting nature versus nurture twist. The twins were separated when they were four months old. Alexia was sent away to live with her grandparents and Selena stayed with her mother and father. She has a criminal record and has been in teenage girl gangs. Alexia is a young mum with ambitions to have a professional career. She has gang associations through her family, but no direct involvement. The twins were reunited for the first time when they were five. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it was freaky, isn't it? That was we weird. Went, yeah, like, oh, what happened? We went to the, we went back to Waoho, that's where my grandparents are from, and we went back there, and then um, my mum and dad, oh, my mum. what what? Yeah, my mum and Will and her turned up, and I was playing, I was playing outside, and then <laughs> my older brother, Will, was going, Selena, <laughs> Selena, and I was like, oh, who the hell are you? And then <laughs> she, <laughs> she goes, don't talk to my brother like that, and I was like, who the hell are you? <laughs> and we were all like, oh my God, you look like me. <laughs> I used to be jealous of Alexia, mm. can we swap lives, <laughs> please? <laughs> I've been living with Nan just for one year. Now she goes another cook out of the cupboard, is that right? My dad's a mad cook. She can't cook. It was hard when Alex and them leave, though. Yeah, that was real hard, especially being twins. You've got that connection. But I mean, you've been. That's why we. That's why we really do hate our parents. Oh, we don't hate yeah. them. We've got. Well, we just we don't, don't understand why they just decided to they do that. Split twins. Because my dad up. decides to blame it on my mum. And that would have been the most hardest thing to do, like giving one of your daughters away. Yeah, but she was like, but, give me away, give me away. Yeah. She gave me like the best yeah. life possible for my Out of your children. <laughs> yeah, because we're different. <laughs> she had a good life now. <laughs> now my mum gave her a good life. Despite her reservations about her parents splitting up twins, Alexia is well aware her upbringing had many advantages over that of Selena and her brothers. Like They've been raised the right, just the not enough um, encouragement. I would say loving. <laughs> not enough encouragement and not enough, um, yeah, loving and not enough um, discipline. They've been disciplined in the wrong way, with violence. Or with my grandparents, they disciplined me with, you know, if you don't do this, then you don't get that, or, you know, stuff like that. Oh well, man, if you don't do this, you get hidey. She didn't have our father around her. Yeah. Our father's influence. Yeah, I didn't even know how to swear until I moved here. Yeah. Straight up, I didn't even know like to so swear. Was so I was, I wasn't that innocent, but I, I'll go, I'll flip that, you know. But since I've moved here and started going back up to Ashley quite a bit. I'm like, oh, fuck this, fuck that. And when I go back to middle part, I back to my name, she's like, I beg your pardon? <laughs> we'll come home from school or something, and there's no, like, no tea or anything, and it's like nine o'clock, you're like, fucking hell, does anyone fucking <laughs> get in this house? And you walk around, and you know, my dad's just like, well, you got fucking out of my legs, go get your fucking feet. <laughs> yeah. One time we got left for about two, three weeks. No, what yeah. was it? No, about, about two, two weeks. Two and a half weeks. No food in the house, three just weeks. Party hard. Even our mates come over and bring food bring and shit. Food and shit. And they'll just lift it. And we're pretty hard, but, you know, never smash windows or anything. No, it was like respect. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I blame my father and he knows it. I've told him heaps. Because of, because of you, our life is fucked. <laughs> 